I am here with Modestus Bukowskis and new Cage Warriors Light Heavyweight World Champion. Modestus, after being through the highest of highs, lowest of lows, what does this belt represent? Winning it a second time. Two time world champion. Damn, that feels freaking good. Um, honestly, um, it was the best that I've ever felt. The training went absolutely superb. Obviously, you know, in my head, I still see things that I need to work on. However, um, you know, that is like, <laughs> what more could you want for New Year's Eve coming out, for doing a stone cold knockout, walk off, amazing. Got the backflip in at the end. Uh, yeah, I mean, listen, this feels very familiar. I mean, I had this on, on my shoulder in 2019 and here we are again at the end of 2022 with it again. Not only that, but didn't you win that fight the same way as well in the fourth round with the y right hand? Yeah, so with, with Hamlet, um, I actually caught him. He was going away a bit more than, um, than Campbell was. And then obviously uh, he toughed it out a little bit, but I think it stunned him too much and then I finished him on the floor. But this was like clean, like a clean KO. Like I'm talking the right hand, bang on the chair. I knew as soon as it landed, it was over. And uh, yeah, uh, it couldn't have felt any more amazing. All this hard work. Freaking missing all the Christmas treats, all paid off. Wait a minute, I heard you still had some cake. Yeah, well, I mean, listen, trust me, I would have went a lot more crazy had, had I had the chance. But, you know, obviously I kept myself like composed and, uh, you know, had really good time with my family. And, uh, yeah, I told everyone I was going to get them the Christmas present because, you know, like I say, times are tough for fighters. But, hey, this is the present. We got the belt and we're on to bigger and better things. And more than just winning fights and winning titles, you say you've got something to prove. Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself to achieve that? Yeah. Um, I don't really put too much pressure on myself because, like, this is my calling. This is what I've, what I've been meaning to do. I've got so many people to prove wrong, and it freaking fuels me. It fires me. I've got this deep burning desire um, to be the best and uh, you know I had a lot of people counting me out saying I was never going to come back from this injury I was never going to be a champion again and I'm and you know they say oh that's it his career's over well guess what my career ain't freaking over we're still here and <laughs> we're about to take over let me tell you and in your eyes was that performance a step in dire direction to prove yourself do you feel that way I think that was a performance worthy of me getting signed back to the UFC um, I feel that this is my time now you know I, I I took really hard fights, you know, I wasn't as well prepared mentally, uh, even in just the, the, the skill set aspect, I've gotten much better. And you know, I want to I want to prove myself on the world stage, whatever the next step is, but I know I'm freaking ready. Well, if the next step is to defend the title, when would you like to do that? As soon as possible. Um, I know that there's, there's uh, shows going on in March. So listen, I'll, I'll be ready to go. I'm going to go straight out of here. I'm going to freaking party my ass off you know, go absolutely crazy, you know, sparklers with champagne, and then uh, and then straight back to work, you know. Um, I worked all the way through Christmas, and it kind of gave me a bit of, like, mental numbness, you know. It's like, oh, I've still got to work even even during the celebration celebratory times. So I've gotten used to that. So, yeah, as soon as possible, hook me up. Yeah, well, I heard you've got some good celebrations <laughs> planning tonight, and you just said it. So what do you have in mind exactly? Well, where my, you guys my, my, my boy Will, where, where we're going to do something special. I, I know that... Uh, we're gonna go to some good clubs. Like, listen, I haven't been, haven't been clubbing or, or going out to anything, anything nice for, for a really long time. And I just wanna, I wanna, <laughs> I wanna drink till I can't think no more and dance till I can't move no more. Um, it's gonna be a special night, and uh, yeah, uh, I can't wait. So you're gonna be busting the moves with the new knee? All the moves, <laughs> all the moves. No back flips, but we're busting out some serious moves. Maybe a moonwalk if we're lucky. <laughs> Congratulations and Thank happy you. new year. Happy new year. Thank you so much.